This helicopter right here needs some sort of autopilot because honestly, at the minute, we are flying from our base miles away in order to capture any points. So I have to fly from here all the way up to either there, which I don't want to do, <laughs> or any of these spots right here. We also need to do more missions as well because we need more money. So yes, an autopilot inside of this thing would be great. Let's do that today. There are lots of enemies in Stoneworks, from Navy ships to helicopters armed with rockets and even some tanks. It is our goal to eradicate those enemies from the world. Welcome to Stoneworks Search and Destroy. Okay, so this thing right here is the autopilot thing. I guess I'm just gonna have to put it there, unfortunately, because... There's not really many other places I can put it, so right there, I think, is where it's gonna be. Uh, I guess if I actually shove something like, oh, I don't know, something like this on the back end as well, it doesn't look too out of place, but it still looks pretty out of place, let's be real. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna delete that real quick, I'm gonna shove this in around the edges, there we go. Uh, on both sides, obviously, shove that in there, and this piece and this piece, there we go. If I then go to GPS, we can go ahead and, sorry, is it autopilot? Maybe it's autopilot. Here we go, HH, autopilot, shove that into there like this, and wham! Yeah, alright, it's kind of ugly, but you know what, maybe that's fine. Uh, so, we need to now connect all of these guys in, and uh, yeah, we'll then hopefully be able to fly this. Okay, so unfortunately for us, we actually need to sleep through a few nights, because we don't actually have any keypads, and that's the only way uh, we can really do it, so we've unlocked buttons right now. Buttons is the thing you have to unlock before keypads. So, yeah, let's see if we can find them really quickly. There they are, keypads. Research, yes. And go back to sleep for another few hours. And there we go, keypads have been unlocked. I am going to go ahead and delete this bed, by the way. Uh, and we're going to go to keypad straight away. So, I might as well actually put the autopilot stuff on this side. So, that's what I'm going to do. Alright, so I'm thinking that this is ready to go, but I actually don't know, so we need to do a quick test. Now, unfortunately, it is night time, so I sh probably shouldn't test it right now, but let's go outside, lift ourselves up into the air, and see what it does. So, set that as our waypoint, and go. Alright, it went to- Oh! I like that our helicopter tries to do trick shots. Alright, it goes down as well. That's not good. Okay, so I've actually added another microcontroller in here, and that is for altitude hold. So, our current altitude is 22. Let's go ahead and go outside really quickly, so turn this on, there we go. Hopefully it starts. We do only have one starter per engine. I might increase that to two. Uh, and the main reason I would increase it to two is just uh, redundancy, so in case one of them goes down. But that's fine, so we are outside. We're now going to set our altitude to, I don't know, let's say 45. There we go. And turn that on. Oh, I didn't give it electricity. Oh, I'm going to do that so much. I'm going to do that so, so much. All right, connect this to here and here. There we go. That's actually everything connected. And we're going to add a bed. Yeah, I just want a bed somewhere real quick uh, to sleep in just now. So, shove it there. Okay, right, we're gonna sleep through the night. Let me go to the other side. There we go. We are gonna sleep through the night, and in the morning we'll test it out. Come on, Heli Flopta, you've got this. All right, let's see if it works. Turn the lights on, turn the engines on, throttle it up to full. Our keypad, we're gonna set that to about 45. And let's go. All right, so we're bouncing around now, but we're fine. All right, we are okay. We're outside, let's go ahead and turn this on. Altitude hold, we are raising up to 45. And then we're going to set our keypad. Alright, we did a flip again. But we are actually going the right direction. Uh, turn it off. Whoa. Right, we're having some issues there. <laughs> some small issues. Alright, our altitude hold works. It's just our helicopter likes to do flips sometimes. Don't know why. All right, final time of testing before we go actually out there, I guess. Let's set this to 55, throttle this up. We don't necessarily need it to throttle to full. We just need a bit. Uh, not throttling to full will actually settle it down a little bit, hopefully. And we can fly out here. 
Yes! Alright, good. So, set the altitude hold on. Alright, that should take us up to 55. We're gonna go ahead and select this. In fact, actually, we need a better location to go to anyway. Transport a lost anchor 50 meters underwater. I mean, that's not really something we can do anyway. So, yeah, that's a thing. Uh, unless we go get ourselves a winch for the bottom. But we'd also need diving equipment. Do I have enough for diving equipment? It's 30. Alright, we can't do that either. Right, guys. We are going to go fly out to... I don't know if I can do this. Can I actually... I'm going to fly out here and see if I can get it, but I don't think I'll be able to. Because I, I won't even be able to dive that deep anyway, will I? No. This one, we have to transport a cargo boat to there. That's too far. I don't know what we can do. I think I might have to just sleep, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and land right here real quick. Let's go ahead and turn off the engines. We are down on the ground anyway. And we're going to go to sleep for the night. All right, we might have a mission we can actually do here. We need to fly out to there and put out a fire. And we need to rescue two civilians from there. All right, let's get to it straight away. Jump in. Fortunately, we won't be needing our guns this time. So that's good. We'll set our altitude to 75. All right, whack that on. Oh my, that was that was quick up to our altitude. Shove this on and hopefully it works. Please don't do any barrel rolls or anything like that. I've turned down the sensitivity on like a lot of the stuff. So hopefully that's good. Although I don't know where it's trying to go now. I think it's trying to go to the previous setting. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, so after a quick test there, it seemed to fly off in another random direction. I don't know why it seems to do that, but this microcontroller did it last time too. And I really don't know why, uh, so I'm going to try and figure that out. Okay, so the altitude hold seems to be working sort of. As soon as we turn on the autopilot though, it does seem to have some issues. Uh, the other thing is, if I try and use yaw, it does actually... Yeah. The yaw controller is the, the issue here. It seems to want to flip us over, so I might need to sort that out. <laughs> Pretty sure I need to sort that out anyway. But I'm trying my best to get to the waypoint, so we should be there soon. Okay, right, the island that we needed to get to is actually coming into view, which is nice. Uh, we are going to grab this thing straight away, uh, and it is worth mentioning, I've turned off the autopilot because... I don't know why, but it likes to send us off in a slightly different direction to where we set it to. Now, the issue might come from the fact that we're using a weird uh, coaxial uh, helicopter way of doing it, if that makes sense. The yaw isn't actually done by this um, rear propeller, it's done by the ones on the top. Uh, so yeah, it might be down to that, but I'm not actually entirely sure. Anyway, let's go ahead and turn off the altitude hold, and we're going to go in for a landing. We have to rescue four guys from here. Alright, we can do that. We can totally do that. I feel like I can hear a different helicopter, so I'm going to try and just park. And hopefully that helicopter doesn't land on our heads. But it might? <laughs> yeah, it might. It might be landing on our heads. I'm a little bit scared, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I decided I wanted a, a little look inside of here, just in case there's any crates. And uh, fortunately, we found a crate. Six research points and five grand. Is that actually going to land on my helicopter? I think that might land on my helicopter. No way! Look at it! It's just going to kapow it! What in the world? Look! Wow! Alright, well that's a bit of a nightmare situation, but um... Ugh. Uh, whatever. Right, I'm just going to ignore it for now. I need to go save lives. <laughs> oh my, I'm actually dying. Alright, we put out the fire instantly. That's good. Hopefully everybody that's in here is still alive. Otherwise, we have to defibrillate them all night. I don't think I put a defrib... Oh, I don't think I put one in the helicopter. I might have, but I don't think I did. Alright, lights. Turn the lights on. Away! Right, are they all just sat upstairs? Because I hope they are. Anyone in here? Yeah! Woo! One person. Alright, good. There's one. I'm going to sleep in the bed until morning. But the thing is, we're going to have to wait for that other helicopter to leave anyway. Oh. Right, you stay there. At least she's not dead. Alright, okay. And none of these guys are dead either. Alright, excellent. The only thing is, she is a little bit damaged. 
And because of that, I think we're going to have some issues. Oh, so is this one. Because I believe the ones that are damaged slightly actually take more damage, if that makes sense. Whereas the ones that aren't damaged um, are fine. Is there any crates on the roof? There are no crates on the roof. Are there any crates up? Hey, there's a crate over there, look. Is there any more crates on the island? I don't see any. All right. Well, we'll go get that crate uh, while we're waiting, I guess. Oh, I just heard the helicopter boot back up, so uh, I guess it's leaving. Uh, <laughs> it's leaving a little bit wobbly, but I guess it's fine. It's going to just try and fly away. Um, it didn't actually seem to damage my helicopter at all. At all. So that's actually not terrible. I will check, though. I'll go over it with a welder, but I think my helicopter's fine. I'm just going to shove each of these guys in on each side. There we go. Shove that guy into there. And yeah, we need to heal up all of these guys. So fortunately, I did actually put um, a first aid kit on this. So there we go. All right, we're going to jump back in. And we got to take off. Oh. Hopefully our battery can keep up with being turned on and off all the time. It should be able to, but I'm not sure. Anyway, let's go ahead and turn ourselves around. We're going to fly up to this crate. And then we need to take these guys to a hospital. Okay, I landed up here really quickly. Uh, my helicopter is skidding, but I'm just going to have to quickly run over here, grab this. There we go. Nine research points and 5k. Very nice. I throttled it down to hopefully help. And now we should be able to take off again. Yeah. Oh. Wait, I say yeah. I think we have sank into the ground somewhat. Oh, I hate this. We've merged with the floor. Again. I say again. Actually, last time it was the containers, wasn't it? This sucks. I don't know what to do in this situation. Uh. Me and the, the few guys in here might die. There's not really too much I can do. I'm going to try and set my altitude hold. See if that'll lift it. But it won't. Oh, we are stuck in the floor. This sucks. All right, I'm going to try something. I don't know whether it'll work, though. I'm just going to attach onto this, and I'm going to run this way. Hopefully, I can do some sort of movement on it, but I just don't see it working. Look, I'm trying to pull it out. Oh, my. Is that actually out? No, it's still on the ground. It is still in the floor. <sighs> There's nothing I can do about this. It's just glitched. No! That's so annoying. That's really, really... Look at it. It's just in the ground. All right. Unfortunately, I don't think there's anything I can do here. Like, I can push it around, but as soon as I push it around, I think it just has some issues. Uh, the reason it's getting stuck in the ground, I believe, is because of the hitboxes on these windows. Um... Yeah, I've seen plenty of people use these windows as as their, like, skids before. But, um, I've never had this... Well, I have had this issue. It's Stormworks. This issue happens quite often. But, I don't know. I wasn't expecting this to happen right now. Okay, so after a long, 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 long time trying, we have actually managed to get it out of there. Uh, I will not make that mistake again. No sorry. All right, let's go ahead and set this to 125. Awesome. And we need to take these guys to a hospital. But first, we need to go pick up these guys over here. What is going on? All right, okay. Uh, whack that into there and go. I think it's just going to go the wrong direction, to be honest. Yeah, it is. I don't know. I don't know about that thing. <laughs> no! All right, we're good. We're good. We're facing the right direction now. That's exactly how helicopters are supposed to work. Pretty sure. Alright, so we made it to this island, which is nice. Uh, however, going down is maybe going to be a bit of an issue. Uh, <laughs> possibly. We'll see. So, I'm going to cut these. There we go. And we're going to try and descend. Sometimes descending is uh, not very good. But in this situation, I think we're going to be fine. Uh, also, there is a helipad over there. But I'm going to try and land next to the building. Um, the same thing might actually happen when we go to land. Uh, with it going through the floor. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get over to the side around here. 
I'm going to figure out an altitude that we want to be at. So let's say here-ish. We're going to have a little peek at this, 20, and we're going to set this to 20. Okay, and we're going to set altitude hold on, and it is going to stay around here. Now, the thing is, we're picking up two people, so let's move this guy backwards, and move this guy backwards as well, and let's go grab those guys, although we are a little bit high. Let's go ahead and set this to 18 instead. There, that seems better. All right, jump out. Eh, hopefully that's going to be fine. <laughs> Are these the two guys? It seems like it is. That in there is not a crate. It's always there. All right, let's have a little look. Shove these guys inside. There we go. One and two. Awesome. Our rear propeller has died, but that's fine. That is okay. We do have a crate inside of here. Very nice. And that's good. Five uh, grand and nine research points. Okay. Jump back inside. Set this to 125 again. And whoa! <laughs> off we go. Nice. All right. And finally, we need to take these guys to a hospital. I believe my island is actually a hospital and a safe zone, so we can just take them there. All right. Awesome. Let's go. You know, it's actually like so frustrating having uh, stuff like that happen to you because, you know, I want to just land, I want to take off, and I want to fly away, but no, we have to land, get stuck in the ground for a bit, <laughs> and then fly away. You know, that could have ended, though. That could have just been really bad. Everyone in the back could have died, the helicopter could have just sat on fire randomly and blew up, we would have had no fuel to get home, I didn't have enough money to actually buy the air- Oh, actually, no, maybe I did. I might have been able to buy the land and do it that way, but... It's just a lot of hassle for no reason, which is so annoying. Anyway, we are pretty much back home now, so we're going to land near the tents. Make sure that we actually heal these guys up before putting them into the uh, the hospital. And going from there, so let's uh, straighten this out. Try and land this down on the ground. And we'll be good to go. Alright, keep descending. I also need to fix this, because our battery clearly isn't um, that. There's no way our battery's that. Also, our fuel on this side? Yeah. Something's not right. Okay, so, uh, we need to figure out who's who. I need this, and I need this, please. Alright, so drop that guy outside. Drop this guy outside, and this one, and finally, this one. There we go. See how they're, like, almost dead? That's ridiculous. Alright, there we go. There we go, and there we go. So, grab you, follow, follow, follow. We're delivering all of these guys to the hospital tent, whereas the other two get taken somewhere else. So, if we can jump, please, come up. Yeah, everybody in. Delivery, delivery, delivery. Nice. All right, they've all been delivered. And now, we just need to deliver these two over there somewhere? I'm not sure where. Come here. Come here, alright, and you, there we go, follow me. We need to take these guys over... I don't know, I guess to, to there? No, wait, is this not a safe zone? Ah, no, this isn't a safe zone. I could have taken them ne to the next island. That's a safe zone. Oh, it's because they used green. This isn't a safe zone. This is just my base. Ah, blah, 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 blah. That's a safe zone, and and also a base. Uh, that's annoying. Have I captured an island today? I don't think I have. So, what we'll do is we'll grab the people. They're already in our helicopter, actually. And we will fly them down to here and capture this. Oh, that's so far away. It's so far. Guys, I don't want to take you there. I don't want to. I'm sorry. Alright, I've decided to go back to the uh, workbench really quickly, and I want to sort this out if I can. So, I'm thinking we actually use this propeller on the back for your, um, just for the autopilot. Alright, it might be a bit strange doing it that way, and it is, definitely. But, it's all we've got, so I'm going to delete these guys all the way through there. This is in the way, whatever this is. What's this for? Switch box, what is that for? It's not connected to anything, so I'm going to delete that. And we're going to have it go through here. And, oh. It would have to go all the way through. But I'm thinking if we use that instead, maybe that would be better. But actually, I'm just going to undo all that. It's going to stay pretty much the way that it was. However, we are going to delete this. I'm going to replace it with this. And I'm just going to send this out to one side. Like that. Yeah. 
I've I decided completely against what I was going to do, and I've decided to do something completely different. So, there we go. Awesome. We'll leave it like that instead. Okay, and I've also sorted this out as well, so fuel now works. Alright, okay, that's all good then. So, I mean, I think it's fine the way we have it. It's just the autopilot seems to have some issues, and it's really annoying. Alright, let's test it real quick. So, shove this into there and press the autopilot button. It has turned us upside down. Why? Alright, we landed. Okay, uh, I need the altitude hold on first, obviously. But yes, that did sort of work. Right, we need a bed really quickly. Shove that there. It's really annoying that I don't have a bed on this all the time. But uh, we don't really have enough room. Unless I just shoved it on the bottom. But again, I don't want to do that. So, let's do this. Delete the bed again. And I think we got to test it out. Okay, so go outside. Just travel out just a little bit. There we go. Set our altitude hold on. Okay. And I want to try and just go straight over to there. I know this seems weird, but I want to just go straight forwards if I can. So set our altitude... Sorry, our autopilot to right there. And go. See how it turns and it naturally wants to go... In a different direction. Is that something to do with our compass? Alright, let's try that again. So whack this on, there we go. And whack this on, see if it goes... Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. We're already pretty much pointing in the right direction, so it shouldn't really have that many issues. Whack that into there. Whack this into here and go. And... Let's see, where does it want to go? Like the opposite direction. That makes zero sense. Like, no sense whatsoever. Isn't that weird? And it's wobbling. I may have been making a boo-boo this entire time. Don't, don't, just don't even. Don't even. Right, okay, altitude hold on. There we go, we are facing the wrong direction. But if I press this button now... Yeah. Yeah. It works. <laughs> what did I do wrong? Well, uh, you don't want to know. You, yeah, I mean, you do, don't you? Uh, there was no electricity going to the GPS sensor on the top. So, obviously, it didn't have any idea where it was going. It was just going to go to zero, zero, zero. Um, I know, it didn't know where it was. I don't know. Yeah, it didn't know where it was, I guess. It was at zero, zero, zero. Yes. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and land. We will go ahead and turn this all the way down. I'm going to grab these two, and we're going to do the mission. Come on. Let's be successful here for once. All right, shove you in there, shove you in there, and me in this seat. Throttle this up to full. Whack altitude hold on. And we're going to be flying straight down to here. All right, go ahead and whack it into there, and go. All right, is it going to go the right direction? Oh. 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 Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yep, that, that didn't work. That did not work. Get out the seat! Get out the seat! Whew! Alright guys, we might still be having some issues with it. I don't know whether you guys could see that. Uh, <laughs> some serious issues might still be occurring, but it's fine. It's fine. I think if we point it in the right direction to begin with, it might be okay. Alright, where's the... Oh, I think one of them died. I think one of them died. Yeah, that's not good. Right, we do actually need a defibrillator on here anyway. Yeah, so there it is. And we're going to shove that in the floor? Yeah, there we go. Right, so we're going to have to defrib one of them anyway because that's how this works. And hopefully we can just take them where they need to go. All right, I've shoved one of the workers in, and the other one that was dead is now going to get put in there. Yes! I'm then going to jump in, and I'm going to grab every single one of these. Yeah, so you're full health, you are now full health, and we are ready to go. Let's set our altitude to 350. Higher the better, I suppose. All right, there we go. We're going to naturally point ourselves in the right direction. There we go, before we set this, and go. Oh my. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the issue with this is. There, there is definitely an issue. There, there is definitely 
definitely an issue. Okay, so we're almost at the island. Now, I do want to apologize. Obviously, this video and, yeah, you know what, this video has been very much trial and error with this helicopter, but we've got to a point now where we can fly it normally. It's just the autopilot needs tweaking quite a bit. Now, I'm not going to do that on camera because obviously you guys will get very, very bored of me being like, it works, it doesn't work, it works, it doesn't work, it's boring. So, yeah. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and capture this island now and, uh, yeah. Protect from the enemies. I'm gonna have a look, a little, little look around for some uh, crates as well. Anyway, turn this all the way down to like very, very low. There we go, turn off the lights, and we're gonna capture the island. All right, there we go, it has been captured, and is it nighttime or daytime? I don't even know. Uh, it seems like it's becoming daytime, so that's good. Uh, we now need to have a quick little look around, see if I can find any crates. Let's see if there's one in here, no. See if there's one in here. Maybe there is. Nope. And nope. And uh, nope. All right, whatever. <laughs> I'm going to have a quick little look around the rest of it and see if there's anything else. But I don't think there will be. Oh, wait. I actually almost completely forgot. We have to deliver these guys, too. So come here, yo. And come here, yo. Follow me. I believe the safe zone's up there somewhere. But yeah, I have had a look around. There's nothing in there. Uh, there's nothing in that building. There's nothing around here. We just gotta go upstairs in this elevator, and off we go. Alright, so I'm not really seeing anything up here either, but, uh, is the delivery zone up this bit? It seems like it's here. It should be. Alright, there we go. We've delivered one, and... It just says one. It literally just says one. There, there we go. Now two. Excellent. That's really weird. I don't know why it took so long to do that. Anyway, this building right here used to have a big elevator down into that huge abyss down there. Unfortunately, that's not a thing anymore, but there used to be crates down there all the time. But yes, it's not a thing anymore. So check that room. Check behind here. Whoa! Check upstairs. Nothing in there. And check in here. Nothing in here. Um, yeah. Alright, there's only like a little bit to check now through there. And, I don't know, I don't really want to go up that, so I'm not going to. We'll check in the helicopter up there. But yeah, I don't see there being anything in here either. No. And then there's one more piece of the building. Excusez-moi. There we go, and generally it's like at the end, but I don't see one. Let's just check behind. Nothing. Alright. How annoying is that? Also, these lights, oh, don't really do much to be fair. Okay, let's get back in the helicopter and see what we can do next. Alright, so I believe the final move we're going to do today is we're actually going to go ahead and fly out to the oil refinery uh, to fill up our tank because we actually have hardly any left because of all of our failed attempts to fly away. Um, yeah, the crashing has really, really damaged our fuel supply. <laughs> so we need to get that sorted. Okay, we are way too high right now, so let's set this to 125 and see what happens. Alright, we are going down. Mayday, mayday! Alright, I'm going to turn that off, actually, just because I think it might be a little bit dangerous. Yes, alright, cool. So, I'm hoping we can actually fill this up, uh, but I don't know for sure if we can. So, we just got to land, and we got to hope for the best. Fortunately, this time we actually have third person, so I can, uh, I can actually... Whoop. Uh, land over here without any issue and then we can just run over and attach ourselves on so let's just drop this down all the way there we go throttle this all the way down to like zero pretty much and we are going to get a hose from here that's fine connect it onto there and we're gonna run back over here and connect it onto this hopefully it stretches and also hopefully ah! Okay, that didn't work. I just tried to, like, run it back the other way, but that didn't work either. So, we're gonna have to slightly move our helicopter, like, ever so slightly. So, throttle up again. There we go, move it forwards. And park it over here somewhere. Yeah. Alright, this'll do. Next to these rocks right here. Excellent. That's actually probably a really good place to park it anyway, so... Yeah. All right, we've definitely got enough uh, length on it now. At least I hope so. <laughs> right, run all the way out to here and attach it. Wait, hose is too short to attach. Excuse me? Hose too short. What are you talking about? What is it talking about? 
All right, we got to park it somewhere else then, and the only other place I can think of parking it is directly in between these. Uh, is this going to allow me to do this, or is it going to be too close? Uh, I don't know where my center of mass is, so I want to land it like here. Yep, that works. All right, that is very lucky that that works, but it does. Okay, attach this onto here. Beautiful! Woo! It's working! Alright, yes, our money is going down, and our fuel tank is... Oh, wait. Our fuel tank is more full than it ever was. Beautiful. Alright, well, I think that is where we are going to be ending this today. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed whatever the heck happened today. We tried to get the autopilot working, and again, we had issues. But... In the future, it will be sorted, don't worry. I also think I need to fix this. I'll change these out for something else. And yeah, that should be good. I also want to change the camo too. I'm not a big fan. Anyway, for now, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.